All right, we're here. We are at the end of a demonstration of manually migrating a virtual machine from a, an on-premises Hyper-V host into uh, an Azure VM. All right, and moving it as what we would call a specialized as opposed to a generalized uh, disk. Uh, to be generalized, we would have, well, generalized the virtual machine and then copied up and made copies of it. As it is, I've taken uh, an actual uh, VHD file and I'm going to use that directly as a source of a virtual machine. And uh, fortunately for you, I've actually already done this. I cheated a little bit, but that's because watching a script run isn't really exciting. And it'd be even worse if you're watching a script run and it failed. Um, so it's possible that I went ahead and ran this, but that's okay because it makes for a shorter demo. All right, here's what we have. In a previous demo, uh, I copied a uh, VHD from on-premises into Azure. Okay, And uh, really all of this code here is just setting that up, uh, getting to the point where I've got these two um, variables. One is the URI that I want to copy it to and the other is the local file. And the URI is in a storage account, it's in a container within the storage account, and then really the whole thing came down to one line. That gets me a, uh, a VHD that's in Azure now. Okay, And what I want to do is a couple of things, two-step process. One, I want to convert the disk from what would be called unmanaged, which is how I uploaded it. When you upload a disk into storage, that defines what's called an unmanaged disk. Right? Uh, what you typically want to do with current virtual machines, you want to have a managed disk, which really just means that it's a first level resource and you can see it, for example, in the portal uh, under a resource group. And well, more importantly, Microsoft actually you know, manages it, thus the name. Okay. Uh, a lot of benefits to that. You can look that up. That's not really critical. Just want to show you how we got there. All right. And so after I move up the disk, got a few other things we're going to do. All right. And then this line 27, all right, above that, I get a NIC, uh, network interface card. Had already created the network interface card. That's available. That's not really something that you need to worry about as far as migrating a disk. That's a pretty standard process. Okay. But here I have a disk. And this is where I create a managed disk. Uh, out of the unmanaged disk. And there's actually two parts. There's a new Azure RM disk config, which basically says, okay, I want to say we're creating premium. It's going to go in a location which is set as East US. And I'm going to import that from a source URI, which is that URI created up above. And then I simply, that's the configuration. I use that uh, to create a disk and I give it a name. Why this couldn't be one step, I don't know. I couldn't have created it, the whole thing, so I can't complain too much. But after line 27, well, 27, 8, and 9, I have a managed disk. Okay? Uh, and then uh, the next steps, I'm really just setting up a virtual machine configuration. Start out by creating a configuration, and then really uh, the part that's related to this disk I have migrated uh, is this part right here where I attach this, this newly minted managed disk to my virtual machine configuration. Right? And then I add a, my network interface card to it. And then finally, I go ahead and I create the virtual machine, which I have done and which I am happy to report worked successfully. And here is that virtual machine. All right. Now, a couple things with this. We can take a look at uh, the resource group where this is created. Pretty exciting seeing a resource group. And if I always like sorting these by type. So here's here's what we've got. We've got a couple of things. Uh, my manual OS disk. Uh, I've got, you'll notice there's actually two sets of network cards, two sets of public IP addresses. Uh, a little bit of a confession here. Uh, the Hyper-V host that I've been running and demonstrating on is actually running in Azure. But th that's immaterial. It's, it's actually the same exact process you would do if it was on-premises. It's just that I can run it on a more powerful machine in Azure and my wife won't let me build a network rack in my office. So, uh, you know, you kind of got to do what you got to do. Uh, but in any case, uh, that's not really what's important. What's important is this guy right here. Okay. This is the virtual machine that I created. Um, and it's tied into a NIC uh, that was already created. If I go to disks, I can see that it's going to be tied in to that manual OS disk, which is the disk over here that I created. So it's, it's all tied together. It's, it's all coming together. 
Okay. Now, at the end of the day, this was a highly customized virtual machine uh, that was actually running a highly customized uh, implementation of IIS. So I'm going to see if I can get to that. I'm going to just go over here and and fail to copy paste. There we go. Copy paste. And there we go. We've got IIS. Now within that I have a highly customized page called custom.html and there we go. Now that's a terrible page but the point is this moved with the VM. Now I guess the reality is you have to take my word that uh, I didn't go and recreate this, but I promise I didn't, mostly because I'm just too lazy to do that. I already went through all the work of moving it. Uh, but this truly did work, right? And, and the process really isn't that bad. Um, it's, it's been superseded by a process that's actually better, which is uh, Azure Site Recovery. Uh, but the overall process, you, know, you prepare the VHD, you prepare uh, the source OS, you copy the source OS up, uh, you create a, a, typically now you'll create a managed disk off that and then you create a virtual machine based on the managed disk. And I've demonstrated this with Windows. The reality is the only difference if I was doing this with a Linux VM is that the actual process of preparing a uh, Linux OS on the VM is, is going to be different than Windows. And in fact, in generally, it's actually easier to do. There's less steps. Uh, I, I don't have a 90 line script to do that. Although you, you can, in truth, migrate a Windows VM without quite doing all of the things that I did to it. All right, but anyways, that's it. That's the process. Uh, uh, it's, it's really not that bad, and particularly because e even the parts that are a little bit lengthy, the only part that was really lengthy uh, was the preparation of the OS itself, uh, and, and that was all scripted. Uh, so that, that was pretty straightforward too. So relatively straightforward process, easy enough to migrate your disks. And this is just, uh, of course, one way of moving your workload from on-premises into the Azure environment.